Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of May 20th through the 26th. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you. Sometimes it will be, sometimes it won't. This is for Libra. Ooh, wow, what a great start to the reading, huh? This is a passionate new beginning. Somebody's about to take a new approach. There's a new spark. There's a new drive. There's a new passion. There's a new partner, perhaps. This is exciting. An exciting new beginning here. But you may have your guard up. You may have your guard up. You may be feeling like you need to push people. You probably have multiple options, Libra. Put it that way. You probably have to make a choice here. One of these options is, is very bright. It's very attractive to you. You probably have multiple options, but you got one of them that is super attractive to you. Ooh, now the strength card reverse. You may not be able to refrain yourself <laughs> or restrain yourself, put it that way. Um, they may make you feel weak, this person, whoever you're dealing with. Oh, this is grieving, crying over a loss. Not realizing that you have a big, better opportunity. You know, there is love here. There's an opportunity for love. But somebody, i got to tell you what the card means, is focused on a loss. You may not have the confidence because of a previous loss. Maybe that's why you're pushing people away. I don't know. This is somebody who is defending themselves, pushing people away, not letting people in, not letting people come forward because of... Well, somebody is could still be holding on to a loss. I gotta be honest with you. It looks like you do have a new flame or a new spark or a new suitor or a new new opportunity here that you're probably excited about, but you may be a little guarded and standoffish because of a previous loss. It's an opportunity for happiness to come in an alignment with something that could make you extremely happy. But you may be being unrealistic, okay? You may be uh, Let's just get some holding on. Jeez, I'm crow. Obsessed. This is an obsession. It is. Resisting change because of a previous loss. You could be grieving over, st still grieving over a previous loss. And, and therefore you're, you know, holding on to it. Trying to, you're resisting. You're in this, if that makes sense. Fearful. Fearful of starting over. Fearful of taking that leap. Yeah. It's time to release the baggage of the past. It really is. You gotta let the past go. Let the past go. Let the past go. You can't hold on to it. It's killing you. So for some of you, it's killing you. Let the past go. Let it fall away. Don't hold on to it. You're better off on your own. The Nine of Pentacles was re reversed. Says, you know, this is your insecurities. This is insecurities. You need to find the discipline. You need to you need to listen to what you, listen to your own needs. You you know, you don't I see a lot of you you, you probably you don't deserve to be alone. You don't you deserve to be loved. It almost like, it's almost like you want it, but you don't. You're, somebody is afraid to take a leap of faith. For some of you, if you're in a coupled relationship, it's like you probably, for some of you, you want to be single, but you don't dare to. If you are single... This is like, I don't want to be single, but I don't dare to let anybody in. There's fear here, okay? The strength reverse, there's fear. There's fear of change. There's fear of change, okay? Fear of change, and it's because of a previous loss, obviously. The challenge is letting yourself be happy. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be happy. But right now, you're, this is fear and this is fear. You're being, it's like you're not allowing yourself to receive. 
It's time. You deserve. You de this is you deserve. You deserve balance. You deserve the good things. You deserve to be treated fairly. You deserve justice. You are you are being presented with a new opportunity that could make you very happy. It's something that you deserve. Yeah, it's time for you to do the right thing for you. You know, who if this is if you are the female watching this, you are very attractive at this time. People see you as attractive. If you are the male, you have somebody that is very attractive in your line of sight. This person is very creative. This person is very enthusiastic. This person is vibrating at a very high level. It's an exciting opportunity. This is an exciting... Uh, new path. It's an exciting opportunity to... Have a little bit of fun, put it that way. This is Seven of Swords reverse. This is be careful. This is be careful getting caught. You may be afraid that <coughs> if you do this, the person that you're holding on to will find out and they'll never come back. But I feel like it's time for a change. You're not the same person that you used to be. It's time for you to come together with the person that you deserve to be with, the person that's going to love you, the person that can make you happy. It's time. There's tension. There's conflict. You keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's like you do. It's like I see that. Somebody keeps going back and forth between the past and the future, the past and the future. It's, it's time. It's time. It's time for you to heal. It's time to let yourself be happy again. That's, that's what I see. I, I really feel like you have a new partner that is coming into your life that you could, you could, you could, uh, com you could combine with very well. But it's almost like... You're afraid you're afraid to let go of the past. You you don't wanna you don't wanna open yourself up to somebody else and then what if they come back? That kind of what if they come back and I'm already in something else? You know, it's it's like you're protecting yourself. You're trying to you know, you're trying to protect yourself in case this person comes back. But you have an opportunity to deepen a bond with somebody. You could find extreme, extreme happiness. I mean, there's an opportunity for extreme happiness, for bliss, for growth with somebody that I feel you, you could really combine with in a big way. If you are single, you probably have a new exciting opportunity with somebody. But you got to let them in. Things are starting to look up. I think deep fulfillment is coming. If you are single, I think you're going to be re meeting uh, a real love soon. A real love. Somebody that is, is going to make you very happy if you are single. If you are single, you're going to meet somebody that is going to jive with you. You're going to combine. It's just going to be like, wow. But you're going to have to let them in. This person can help you to heal from this past hurts if you let them. Whew. Yeah, this is not okay, okay? You guys need to realize that you have somebody better suited for you.
There's somebody for you. But I think a lot of you are holding on to a false contract. I'm sorry, I got to tell you what this is. Let go of the false contract because you do have somebody that's better suited for you. Somebody that's better, more compatible. But this back and forth game isn't serving you very well. You deserve to be happy. There's a new spark. There's a new flame. There's a new attraction here. Let this person in, please. You know, this is lacking balance, poor decisions, overextending yourself. You may be fearful of biting off more than you can chew. Seriously. Not accepting change. It's time to let somebody in, please. Three of Pentacles. Work together. Teamwork. This could be somebody you work with. If you haven't met this person already, this could be somebody you work with. There's somebody that comes to show you something. Somebody that comes into your home. Could be a caregiver of some sort. I don't know if it is a caregiver. I don't know where that came from. Um, That just flew right out of my mouth. Anyway, um... This is somebody that will work with you. They will respect you. They will communicate with you. But you're going to have to face your fears. You're going to have to let go of your worries. I mean, you're going to have to open up. I feel like we have somebody here that is really worried about letting somebody in. There's an opportunity for extreme happiness here with somebody that will work with you. Somebody that will put in effort. Somebody that will make you happy. Somebody that, you know, will be passionate about you. I think it's a very exciting opportunity. It's very, there's a lot of passion to be had. There's opportunity for growth. I mean, big growth. But you need to find the strength and the courage to open up and let somebody in. Drop the past. Drop the baggage. It's time for this change. It's time for you to come together with happiness. Whatever it is. So I feel like you do have a new, a new attraction here. A new partner that is trying to or wants to, or is excited, or is very attracted to you, they want to build with you, okay? They want to work with you. They want to start something with you. They definitely want to have some fun with you. And it could lead to something really, really happy, okay? Let them in. My advice is to let them in. This could lead to extreme happiness. Let them in. Let them in. That's what I got. 